All right, let's dig into further awesomeness. You could use any audio file or recordings. For example, sounds which you have recorded with your mobile phone or sounds produced with another music software. You can drag your own sounds into your set. You have three ways to do so. Either drag the file from your browser or your DAW into the list view, to the pad view or to the edit selection view. Note that by default you will have a one-shot selected after dragging your file into replay. A sound can either be selected as one-shot or as a loop. At list view and replay you will see sound files with a tempo number. If they have this number it means that they are designed to be used as a pad loop. The best audio quality is achieved with the tempo written in the sound file. Once you assign a sound to the edit selection, it automatically detects the length of your sound if it's between 75 to 150 BPM. If it's a different tempo, you can type in the length of your sound here. You can change the pitch of the sound with the pitch knob dial and the fine adjustment scroller dial below it. If you click warp, it means no matter what tempo you are in, the pitch will remain the same. If it's turned off, then you will hear according to the BPM that the pitch will change otherwise. This volume bar to the right controls the volume of the currently selected sound. Click and drag to move it up or down. For one shots, you can edit the following features. If you want to shorten your sound or control how it's played back, you can do so by adjusting the two points of the envelope. The trigger gate drop down allows you to choose between a trigger style or gate style playback for your sounds. If you choose trigger, then the sounds start and play to finish for each hit of a pad. With the gate setting, a sound is played for as long as the pad is held down by your finger. The velocity sensitivity lets you define how touch sensitive your pads of egg pad can be. If it's set to zero, there will be no dynamic range at all. If it's set to 100, you can play loud and quiet, like in this example. At the end, you want to make sure that you save your masterpiece. For this, click this save button. Save set would save the configurations like volumes, warpings, pitches, envelopes, tempo, effects, live looper settings and the amount of voices at your preferences. This is saved in the project file with an extension .json. Save set and sounds will save the set configuration and the sounds you have just added. By pressing OK you will create two files. One file is a folder with your sounds, the other one is the one ending with JSON. You can load the set only within replay with this button. Choose the .json file and you can be rest assured that all sounds, including the parameters which I just told before, are saved within your set. So now you're ready to fire up replay sounds, drag and drop your own sounds, modify them, save and load your own entire set. That's awesome! So please share your music videos and replay sets along with the Agpad community. The next video explains the arrangement of sounds within a preset in replay. So that's the basis for building up your finger techniques along with Agpad. So see you there!